Chapter 6 In Holy Mass, Jesus prays for us and obtains, obtains grace for us. Anyone who finds himself lacking something which he needs goes to some, some person who can help him by giving him what he lacks. We are in daily need of many graces for soul and body. It is God alone who can give them to us. Therefore, let us turn to God to obtain these favors. There are many good works which we can employ by begging him for grace. Tears of true penance for our sins, prayers, alms, and the like. But the most certain of all means is the holy sacrifice of the Mass. In the Mass, Jesus prays for us, just as he prays, prayed for his executioners, after they had nailed him to, to the cross. Yes, in the Mass, Jesus prays for us, and inasmuch as one word of his worth more than, is worth more than a million of ours, we can readily see that the Holy Mass is the most efficacious of prayers. We may call it the omnipotent prayer. Omnipotent prayer. In the days, in the days of the emperor Arcadius, a certain bishop called Porphy went to Constantinople to beseech a great boon for his people. The bishop feared that his request might not be granted, but he took advantage of the fact that a son had recently been born to the emperor to present his petition in a manner which might assure its fulfillment. After the baptism of the young prince, Porphy placed in the infant's tiny hands a slip upon which he had written his wish. The emperor readily enough took the slip from the hands of his young son and read it. Notwithstanding, notwithstanding the nature of the request, which was one he might not otherwise have granted, the fact of his coming to him through his son caused him to give Porphy his desire. Such an anecdote as this illustrates just what happens in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. We place our prayers in the sacred, the sacred hands of Jesus. When he presents them to his heavenly Father, we may be assured that they will not go un unanswered. God, who never refuses anything to his Son, will grant whatever we ask through the Mass. By it, we may obtain the con convert... convert conversion of sinners, the perseverance of the just strength to combat evil, constancy in good, by it God will grant us every grace we need for our souls, health of body, fair seasons, rich harvests, employment, peace for our families, and for the whole world. In other words, by means of the Mass, we cannot obtain, obtain from God all that we need for our spiritual and temporal well-being. O oh, blessed Mass! It is, in very truth, the key to all the treasures of heaven. Let us assist at it 
as often as we can, and let us pour out our hearts to God, beseeching Him for every favor we need, no matter how great we may be our need. Not long ago, a young boy to Woe's heart Jesus had spoken in his first communion observed with grief that both of his parents had abandoned the practice of going, going to Mass. Although he begged them to go, his en entries were in vain. He resolved to he resolved to go to Mass himself twice during each week, once for his mother and once for his father. His mother became curious about his early rising, and one morning she followed him as he left the house. When she came to the church, she discovered that him kneeling in angelic recoll recollection and praying fervently. She waited for him at the door and moved to tears by the sincerity of his devotion. She questioned him, embracing her joyful embracing her joyfully. The child explained, Mother, yesterday's mass was for father. Today it's for you. The the sequel may easily be Im imagined. On the following days, the boy went to Mass in company with his parents, and they and the three knelt together before the altar. The favor the child de the favor the child desired had been obtained through the Holy Mass. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to pray. Bye.